three, two, one, zero. All engine running. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. 32 minutes past the hour. Liftoff on Apollo 11. As soon as I read the challenge, the idea came to me. Why not fill all this wasted load with wireless sensors so they can monitor the Martian environment for us for a long period of time and at a low cost? Wireless sensors are commercially available nowadays. It's a very known and stable technology. And why not use them for space exploration? Prior to the MSL entry into Mars atmosphere, 150 kilos will be, will be jettisoned. These loads will be, will be of ceramic sphere cone plaster shell, consisting of hundreds of nodes, sinks, all impact protected by rubber exterior. BMDs will enter the planet's atmosphere and deploy a parachute. Next, they will drop their lower hatches and allow the sensor nodes to be dispersed on Mars ground. After the MSL entrance through the atmosphere, the second 150 kilos will be jettisoned at an altitude of 12 kilometers. They will consist of six 25 kilo loads of the cluster shell bomb type. Four of them will enclose hundreds of sensor nodes and two will enclose both a single node and a small quantity of sensor nodes. In order to safely land the single nodes on the ground, we included parachutes in the design. These parachutes also managed to decelerate the BMDs enough as to allow the sensor nodes to be freely diffused into the atmosphere. In order to calculate the spreading of the sensor nodes on the ground, we used simple diffusion and mathematical models. These models include parameters such as the gravitational field of Mars, the air resistance and the distribution for the wind gusts. This way we manage to ensure maximum efficiency of the sensor node and network. After the deployment of nodes on the ground, of the planet, the network will start forming. In this case, node uh, will start sending data one to each other in order to form the network. And this data will reach hop by hop to the sinks. During the second phase, we have the option this data to communicate with the Mars rover to be transferred to the Mars rover and through the Mars rover to the satellite and then to the sink or they can communicate again through their sinks, satellite and be transferred to the Earth. We can monitor remote areas where the Mars rover is not possible to reach. Our team's proposal has shown a scientific way on how the 300 kilos of ballast mass can be exploited by using low-cost, already existing technology on Earth. This technology can also be used on the Mars surface.